Alright guys, welcome back to a new part of a basic survival game tutorial series. It's been a long time since I've recorded my last part, because my old microphone wasn't working anymore, so I had to buy a new one. And I think this one sounds even better, I mean, more crappier uh, isn't even possible, but uh, that's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. And I like this new microphone. Um, Alright, as I promised, we will start with the inventory system in this part. And I have created a new folder called inventory system. There is nothing in here. And of course, you should do this too. And open it up. And in here, let's create a new structure. To do, to do this, just right click and select blueprints and in here structure. And call this one as underscore item. Alright, now create a new enumeration. To do this, just right click again, select blueprints and enumeration. Call this one E underscore category. I think it's worth to mention that uh, the inventory we will create um, will look similar to uh, the Skyrim inventory system, but without the 3D um, preview. We might even uh, create a 3D preview for our character. This should show us uh, the armor of our character and his equipped weapon. Um, but I'm not sure if we really want to do this. Um, so uh, let's concentrate on the basic inventory system first. All right, now we have uh, these two um, files in here. Save and open up our uh, category enum. And in here, let's create some new entries. Um, I would like to name the first one uh, simply air. The second one, for example, um, well, I don't think that air is a good name. Let's call it, um, let's start with armor. Then in here, weapon, all right. Weapon. Then in here, um, for example, okay, I don't know. Um, let's call it food. And this would be miscellaneous. All right, save and open up our uh, item struct. Save again and let's um, and let's change this variable type to string. Select string and call it name. Create a new variable and let's call this one um, category. And of course, select our category enum. Just type in e underscore category and here it is. And I think uh, for the default value, we should pick miscellaneous and the default name could be, yeah, item, for example. All right, uh, I'd like to create a new variable called um, weight. And uh, this would be a float and we can save and close this one. And um, well, now we have uh, these two files in here and we need to create a, a data table. To do this, just right click again and select miscellaneous and in here data table. We need to pick a structure and we want to pick our uh, item struct, which we have just created. Click OK and let's call this DT for data table underscore items. All right, save again and open it up. Save again. I don't know, I'm just well, saving the whole time to make sure that we won't lose any files if uh, Unreal Engine crashes or something. Um, all right, and in here, let's create a new entry. Entry, thank you. And we see our default structure values in here. All right, um, and this is the data and this is the data table in which we want to uh, define all our items. And let's start with an item called um, wood. Wood would be, lol, wood would um, be miscellaneous. And the weight should be, I don't know, 0.5. Create a new entry. Thank you. Um, and let's call this one um, maybe health potion with a capital P, of course, health potion. 
um, we uh, should change this to food and the weight well point one is okay I guess and for the last one in here let's call it um, magic stone or something like that or just stone uh, miscellaneous again and the weight should be 0.75 alright let's save and you can close it and now we have our items defined in here um, of course it depends on the inventory system you'd like to create if you want to have a running economy system in your game um, you would likely create a new variable in here which is called value and should be a float or an integer it depends on you of course but uh, we don't have a we don't have an economy system in our game so I don't need this one um, but I think I want to create a new variable called custom and this is a float and well this value defines a custom behavior of our items for example this value would be um, 20 if our health potion would restore uh, 20 health and it would be um, 1 if our uh, stone helmet um, would give us an armor value of 1. So this is just well a custom value which depends on uh, the item. Alright, so let's close it. I think uh, I will finish this part now and I will see you later.